poll after poll shows, poll after poll shows that the American people overwhelmingly support single payer health care. A recent independent poll shows that 50 percent are in favor, while only 23 are. While Democrats and independents overwhelmingly support it, with 75 percent of Democrats supporting it and 58 percent of independents, the Republican numbers are quite shocking, with 46 percent supporting and only 38 opposing. So, um, James, who do you represent? Oh. Thank you.
$250,000 income level while we fund Social Security. And to prevent the greedy 1% from stealing from the trust fund as they're doing now. Because we paid into the system, we aid the system, and we want it to continue. My name is Randy Case. My zip code is 98686. As the son of a World War II Army nurse and the son of a World War II Army doctor, I would simply like to ask you the following question, and it has to do with Medicare and who pays in. As the House considers repealing the Affordable Care Act, will there be an amendment to the legislation to allow the negotiation of drug prices for current and future Medicare recipients? If your answer is no, please explain in detail why not. Thank you. My name is Justin Ober, 98685, Santa Cruz, Washington. And um, having a brother who suffers from mental illness um, every single day, and being a mother who has a child um, that suffers from medical needs, I would like to know why are we not doing more to support the people who are suffering with mental health issues in this country? And as we have seen over the last couple decades, you a job. consistent defunding of mental health institutions and taking away mental health protection through the, our health insurance, I think this needs to be one of the highest priorities we have because there are many families all throughout this area who are suffering with uh, parents and children from, who are suffering from these mental health needs. And so I would ask, please, to, for your commitment to support this so we can all get behind uh, this illness that uh, could prevent a lot of more serious things down the line. Thank you.
to talk about an issue that I believe is probably the most important challenge of our lifetime, and that is climate change. We need to know what you are doing to protect our state from the harmful effects of fossil fuels on our environment, health, and economy. You will hear us again on April 29th. We will be at the Climate March in Vancouver. <laughs> we will be at the Climate March in Kalama. <laughs> and the local Washingtonians are fighting very hard to protect our region from coal, oil, and methanol. We need you to be fighting with us. Who do you see 